Hi, this is Noma Dimitri and I'm gonna try to do this something that I haven't been able to do for the last couple of years. Um, today I woke up in the hotel room in this beautiful city and I went down to have a coffee and um, I ran into this woman who I had seen the day before. She was a woman from Belgium and we kind of sat together and had coffee like fellow travelers in a new city and um, and she had really nice short hair. Um, and I said to her, I really like your hair, a uh, nice haircut. And she said, um, it's not a haircut, it's chemotherapy. And I looked at her and she looked at me and I said to her, me too. Um, I went through this too. And it was one of these moments, not the first time it happened, but it still happens and it happened today as well. Um, and so we looked at each other with these eyes of recognition at this common experience, this common difficult experience that both of us had been through and both of us hope that it's an experience that is behind us and not to be repeated. Um, and it's strange, after two years already, um, it's still hard to talk about it without getting um, wet-eyed or teary-eyed and, and kind of freak a little bit. Uh, and for her, it was more recent than mine. She finished last May, um, so she was more emotional. Uh, and this helped me because since she was more emotional, I could be less emotional and I could be the comforting one instead of the one falling apart. Uh, and so we talked and, you know, and we calmed down and there was this strange kind of brotherhood of all of us that have been through this particular form of pain. Certainly not the only pain that exists, but certainly a source of big pain and fear and terror. Um, lives nowadays increasingly. So since this happened, I thought, well, maybe this means that finally, after two years, I can even make a video about this experience and maybe I can make more than one um, and share it here online with you. Um, something that I wasn't able to do at all. I could write and I could take photos uh, of the different stages, but I could never do um, a video because I was afraid that my voice would crack or I would crack and I couldn't do it but you know today um, a little more, more than two years later although still in danger but um, it finishes the whole thing finishes after five years so I'm still at two years um, a year and a half actually not two years I wish um, now I can actually do it, I can actually tell you about it on video and I think I will continue to uh, because I think it's good for me in some ways. Um, it's a bit the comfort of strangers, you know, sometimes you can share these things more easily with people that don't know you or people that you cannot immediately access, like I can't really access you right now. You can see me but I can't see you uh, and that sometimes is easier. Um, than saying it to somebody really close to you and seeing their emotional reaction which makes you emotional and then you freak out. But anyways, today I could and I did and maybe I will do it again and maybe this will help somebody out there who is also going through this or has gone through this and is recovering. So that's the spirit. Anyways, um, yeah, it feels good. Noma Dimitri from beautiful Porto, Portugal by the seashore. Look, how nice. Nice to be alive.